summaries, I've got another project to share with you. And yes, this is it. I created a gatefold folio using the breathtaking paper Ginger sent me, Cartabella Country Kitchen. Unbelievable paper. Ginger, thank you so much for sending this. She sent the ephemera pack as well. And I just had a blast working with this paper. It's not often where I use vintage style paper, so it really got me to stretch my creativity. And I got some new stuff in here to share, and I'm really excited because it's stuff I've never tried. I'm in love with the art. The paper has a beautiful texture. I used heavyweight paper studio cardstock for my inner workings and my wrap, and it's a complete chipboard cover. And the great thing is I have a funny little story, okay? My son loves to craft alongside me. He uses his safe little kid scissors, and he likes to use my punches. And I was looking at the front cover, and I just didn't know what to do. And he's always he always listens, and he comes over, and he puts a strip of paper, and he said, put something that wraps around like this. And I went, oh, I'll do a belly band closure, which I've never tried before. Samson, what a great idea. And I was just so thrilled. So here on the front cover, this is an index card, and I was trying to create, you know, something that looks like a recipe card, like from back in the day. So I got my pen out, and I wrote a crazy chocolate cake recipe on there, and I just pulled that off the internet. Here are two, st oh, these are actually three stickers from the sticker sheet, which the collection also came with. Gorgeous stickers. And I mounted them on some layers of cereal boxes to kind of thicken them. So once the belly band comes off, they're, you know, not flimsy paper. Oh, I love it. Super cute little rolling pin. Farm to table. This paper, I mean, it says it all. It's recipe, farming, just cute little animals. And I just, I'm <laughs> so, it's just so amazing. I cannot get over this woman. She's just beautiful. I just am in love with this paper. Just slip this off. I'm gonna set it to the side. And here's the spine and the back. Super cute little farmhouse and the other spine. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Open this up and it's the gatefold folio, right? So it's got this big chunky thing here. Super cute, look at this. Garden to table on the side. Love this checkered like grocery store floor. I just, I'm, that's what I'm calling it, okay? Super cute. Love the little food. Another sticker. This was from the ephemera pack. Of course, of course, I left them open so you can stuff a photo in there. So here on the left side is the wallet so, uh, sized photos, right? The waterfall. Look at this, just gorgeous. In love, in love. I just, this paper is so cute. And I stuffed some pieces from the ephemera patch in this little pocket on the end, the waterfall. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Homemade with love. All the way down into the corner, picture will fit perfect in here. Love it. And you just close this back up. And over here, I've got these two cute little tags. I added some of that cotton twine, just gorgeous. I used my square punch to notch these to make this little corner design. I thought that fit the theme. I added a little index card on the back for journaling. Super cute, same thing with this one. Oh, I love it. I just love it. And this was one of the uh, pieces from the ephemera pack as well. I just popped it up on some dimensional foam tape. So this opens up to the left and we've got that expanding accordion pocket. Oh my gosh, this was one of the cute little, I just punched it out a little plate off that plate paper. And then I added a two wood veneer, veneer hearts right here on the little string. And this just unties. Look at this. This I just fussy cut out of one of the papers. I think it was one of the uh, four by four cutouts. Sunnyside Chicken Farm. No, that was the ephemera pack right there. You open this up and super cute. Look at this. We've got space in here. Okay guys, another uh, square corner punch right there. We've got space for a cute little pencil and this notepad for extra notes. Oh my gosh, this is like a recipe folio, okay? Totally recipes and all this kind of stuff. Look at, this is awesome. I just bought that paper pad from Target, covered it up with some design paper. And these four by six cut aparts. Oh my God, I just got an index card from the Dollar Tree and I got a cute little copper clip also from the Dollar Tree, added some of that raggedy cotton twine and I just layered these up. Super cute, added a super cute little sticker right there. Welcome to our coop, one of the four by six cut aparts. Okay, there's that one. Farm to table, again, I just added a sticker, another index card, 
and then this on the back. Another cutout. Oh my God, look at this cute little woman. I just love it. This is just so cute. So easy to make, so easy to put together. I just can't believe it. Unbelievable. Cute little love sticker. Wish list. Oh, look at her waiting so happily for whatever's gonna be done baking. <laughs> Farm fresh, another sticker over here. Oh, so cute. And then I just threw some stickers on some of the loose cards right here. Awesome jar of tomatoes and carrots. Bless this kitchen. Oh my gosh, super great way to hold recipes. And these, I can't believe it, they actually all fit in this expanding pocket perfectly. And you know what? If you ever want to <laughs> wrap your pencil with this uh, paper, we all know that eventually it'll wear down. So, you know, I would say like hang it from a string somewhere and then modge podge it a couple times and just let it there, you know, leave it there to hang dry and then that should be good to go. That was just an extra thing I just wanted to add in there. So you just close this back up, okay, just like this. And over here is a great spot for a photo. You could definitely tuck it under that cute little flower. Strips of the design paper and this opens up again. Super cute little punch. Thank you, Amy. She got me the Stampin' Up! banner punch. I'm in love with it. This opens up again and we've got the center horizontal waterfall. Unbelievable. Some more of this twine, another sticker. Two places for photos. So I'm thinking kind of like a picture of the dish of food and then the chef and then you can have the recipe on the inside. Oh my God, love the ovens. Super cute little milk sticker. And these are removable. I only taped it a little bit. So if, if you did want to just remove the card and keep it a picture book, then you could do that too. Here it is again, adorable. Super cute strawberries. Places for recipes. Oh my gosh. I just love this. And on the back, I added little stickers, or a sticker right here. And I added some of the ephemera pieces again. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. And you would just tie this back up to keep it closed. And there's an insert at the top, in love. Another sticker, a four by four photo spot. Oh, I love this one, the four by four uh, cutouts right there. Strip the design paper, great way to use scraps. I added a little tab right here and she's cooking, oh my gosh. I just love it. Over here on the right side, homemade with love, one of the ephemera pieces. I mounted it on another piece of cardstock or design paper. And then I added one of these stickers from the sticker sheet. It was a little banner. I added a button and I hot glued it on to keep this flap closed. Of course, there's a gorgeous lady. I did have to get a bit creative because the paper kind of was blending together and I really wanted to break up the designs, the gorgeous designs. So I added a strip here, which is its own separate individual strip, and then this one as well. So this unties just like this, and this opens to the left. Again, that super cute rolling pin, place for a photo, places for journaling, and I used my square punch to punch that out. Super cute. Home memories, love it. And over here, adorable rooster, <laughs> one of those little pickling vegetable jars, and then strips of the design paper. And again, I use my square punch for my corners right here. Tuck a photo in there, unbelievable. You open this up and look, another pretty woman. Good times. Another sticker from the sticker sheet. This was from the ephemera pack. And then I stuffed some little index cards in here for recipes. And of course, I have to add more stickers because they are just way too cute. I love them. And those just go back in there. And then there's picture space right here as well. Farm to table, unbelievable, just gorgeous. And I cannot get over the potted flowers. <laughs> it's just the cutest thing ever. And of course, you can definitely tuck something under here. Look at that. Perfect. Unbelievable. I had so much fun with this paper. I cannot even explain. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little project share. I'm just stunned. Thank you so much again, Ginger. And I can't believe, I can't believe how pretty this paper is. I'm so grateful to have done a project with you. Thanks everyone so much for watching. This is what I created using the Country Kitchen by Cartabella. <laughs> Bye.